you making a movie, man. This nigga ain't from Philly anyway, nigga. We both having no way game. I'm not signing no NDA. I'm saying what the fuck I want to say, because I'm Big Geech. You know what the fuck it is, man. Hey, what's up? How school was today? It was good. Oh, okay, was everything uh, your first day? You know, it went well. Yeah, it was cold. Cold. Yeah. It's been cold. Like froze, like that rapper you be talking to. Oh yeah, froze. That's my guy, man. You, yeah. you saw the show. It was a good show, right? Yeah, it was good, but he ain't have leather pants on though. Really? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, what, what you mean? What, what's wrong with him? Why did you even have those leather pants on to begin with? I do what I want. Yo. Yo, yo, SP, what up, man? Grab your things, suit up. We got the call. We out of here. <sighs> I do what I want. Like that. In this area with 51, everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. What it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. If you like what I got on, ricegangclothing.com. Check out the website. There is some new merchandise there, and there will be since Holly Wrong kicked a hole in the game before multiple views by Tommy Gone. Gotta be strong when you're popping the paparazzi. Merchandise on the website, you know what I'm saying? People have been asking for the longest, so click, 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 click. Mm -hmm. Had to bring it back. Mm -hmm. Salute to every single one of y'all, you know what I'm saying? I got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bow! Let me tell you something, I feel spoiled right now. I feel spoiled right now. If my woman asked me why did I leave my drawers on the floor in the bedroom, I responded to her, I do it. Won't. Mm, mm. Yeah, big car, big car coming up. Big, 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 big car coming up. Um, Chrome 23, it's going down. But uh, you know, who would we not be to address? You know, some of the things that's been going on out here mm. in the world. You know, what I'm saying football is back. Yeah, yeah, football is back. You know, what I'm saying shout out to the Eagles. Whoo, we had a close one there. You know, what I'm saying Philly was in the building. But Jalen, you 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 gonna have to do something, my boy. You gonna have to do something. We paid you a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? But we still got the win. You know what I'm saying? Other than some teams out there that did not uh, prevail. Wait, no, I mean, wait, cause you know it was a couple wait, teams no, that wait, lost. Wait. You know what I'm saying? But wait, no, wait, there's only wait. one team that I kind of want to talk about right now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to New York. You know what I'm saying? Listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. This nigga ain't got no sense. The Jets got they winning, you know what I'm saying? Sorry for the Buffalo Bills. You tried, but you know what I'm saying? They made it all the way to overtime. But them damn Giants, man. <laughs> I, I just wanted to make sure that you real. You good. You good, right? I called you today. You was, you was in good spirits, you know right. what I'm saying? You ain't getting nothing. Yeah, thank you, because I, I wasn't going to hand it to you. Right. You need to give that one to pick yourself. Up, you pick it up you know yourself, because sometimes in life you got to be able to pick up where you left off. You know so I picked up where I left off, you know. Uh, you see, I'm old, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So since I'm old, I'm, I'm more of a 16-week nigga. Mm -hmm. So my season really don't start till next week, so I don't really okay. see, I don't okay. know what happened. Okay, yeah, it starts till next week, mm -hmm. right, Arthur, yeah. I really something. don't know what happened last week, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of problems out there, and uh, it really didn't look good, you know what I'm saying? And But you know, if I'm going to lose, I'd rather lose at 1 o'clock in the afternoon mm -hmm. when everybody else is losing, mm -hmm. just get my loss out of the way. Right. Like, I don't want to get the prime time. <laughs> 8.15, everybody chilling, the whole damn country watch it and do that shit, you but, know what I'm but, saying? But you did. <laughs> I, I said I don't want to continue practicing that, you know what I'm saying? Like, things happen, and I'm going to just take that on, you know what I'm saying? But it you, is No, 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 marinated it. You, you, y'all didn't get nothing? Nothing. No, nothing? Nothing. Nothing? Mm -hmm. Tory Doe put in a better performance for New York than the Giants did. I'm going to put it to you like that. When New York's around. Hoo, y'all, nothing. Yeah. And I understand if it's 21 to nothing, right? You know what I'm saying? 17 nothing. No, <laughs> no, 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 Woo! 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 Woo!
Oh, Nobody yeah. better had not got anything complimentary that night. Y'all pay for everything. Y'all go to that hotel and y'all pay for them $8 waters. Y'all need to go ahead and chalk that up. But let's get into it, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Chrome 23 is what I'm here to talk about. Mm -hmm. I do what I want. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? The card. It's still a card on the hand. Yeah. Uh, it's four battles. The good thing is I actually remember the card. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, Chrome 23, they're, they're Kind of mid year towards the end of the summer event. Uh, she put four battles on the card. Didn't really want a super long card because you got uh, C3 mm. versus First Lady Frames. Mm -hmm. You got uh, Shane Ashley versus Rosenberg Raw. Mm -hmm. You got Charlie Clips versus A Ward. And you got Geechee Gotti versus Easy to Block Captain. Mm -hmm. Now, when you got Geechee Gotti versus Easy to Block Captain, you really don't need to dress it up with ten other battles or six other battles or eight other battles around no. it. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't. You know, you know what we're here for. Uh, this is, but there's a bunch of good ones on the joint. You know what I'm saying? I think everyone will get watched. People will talk about them. They'll break them down. You know what I'm saying? They got some pretty decent commentary on on, on there. Yeah, I think that the commentary is going to be a step up. Um, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, you know, you know, you know uh, salute to all to all the other ones that have um, done the commentary for the past Chrome 23 events, but um. I think the show needs to, uh, it, it needs to liven up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, salute to Remy, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and shout out to Chrome23 for, for, for at, you know, because apparently, you know, we out here cooking. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? Usually, typically they do it for the ladies, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, 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 and as they should, but they said, this one they gonna need a little, they gonna need a little assistance. So we just here for assistance here, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm here for. Yeah, well, you but know, thank you. I'm gonna um, be dressed and impressed. Yeah, well, based off the, you know, what I'm saying the impression and the things that we did last time, you know, it was kind of like, it was kind of like hand and foot. We got the, we got the, we got hit up. We did that, you know, and we did I, right, we and did right. here we go. So you know, um, you got the card. Let's break it down. Mm -hmm. uh, you got some dope battles on there. Obviously, easy to block Captain versus Geechee. We'll get into that in a few. Mm -hmm. But I'll start where it needs to with uh, C3 versus <clears throat> First Lady Flames. Mm -hmm. you know, both are dope MCs. Not gonna go too crazy with the keys to victory because. We have those, it's a thing, you know what I'm saying, it's a and thing. they will be announced, and we will do stuff like that on the live stream. Mm -hmm. But I will say that First Lady Flames has been, you know, cooking, especially on Chrome. She does her thing. She's done her thing over there. She was doing her thing on URL, and it's just good to see her in action versus an MC like C3, who's dangerous. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like C3 gets busy. What's up, man? Listen, I, I, I'm with you on that one because I think this is a war. If you ask me, I think this is going to be a nice little war for the ladies because First Lady Flames ain't no slouch. Yes, First Lady Flames has been. Cooking. I'm gonna be honest with you. Even though First Lady Flames' battles be debatable, mm -hmm. you really be fighting for First Lady Flames. I mean, she did uh, come off the intergender battle with uh, Jack Boy Maine, and that she was be him. You know what I'm saying? Clearly. And she won her last Chrome 23 joint, you know too. So, so it really don't be at debatable. You know what I'm saying? saying? So right now, <coughs> when it comes to First Lady Flames, as far as on Chrome 23, her, uh, her, her battle record is unblemished, if you will. But let's talk about C3 at the same time. C3 been a killer. She is a seasoned veteran. She is no one to play with. You know, your favorite, your favorite female battle rapper, either they have to either they had battle C3 back in that time, or they have seen C3 and it's still the same situation. You do not want to play with her. And I don't think First Lady Flames is gonna play with her. I'm gonna be real with you. I kinda like First Lady Flames more faster punch. Than C3's witty punches, but I'm not mad at what C3 be bringing to the table. So if I gotta say it could go 2 1 either way as the safe bet, but if I gotta say it gun to my head, I'm gonna go with the young gun. I'm gonna go with First Lady Flames. Richmond is in this bitch. Mm. I guess he thought he had like a hot take or something, because that's what I was gonna go with. I was gonna go with the pen mm. and the ability of and her relatability. You know what I'm saying? Like people really relate. They, I mean, C3 is very relatable too. She's been doing it for a while. But in this regard, you know what I'm saying? Um, C3 won a tournament. You know what I mean? Uh, First Lady Flames is like she been wild. Like she been on different stages, different platforms, battle some crazy talent. And I just know that. You know what I'm saying? That she's gonna be very relatable. You know what I'm saying? Streets is gonna relate. They're gonna have love, and you know I think that she might kind of get busy. Now I'm not. I would not at all be surprised if C3 
continued on her little tournament bag where she was smoking everything and got in front of seat and in front of um, flames and won. Mm. Uh, very interesting battle. You know, mm. it's gonna be a good female to female battle. You know, the, the crowd's still gonna. Whenever this battle had, first of all, there should be no issues with a crowd this night. No. Like with four battles, dog, you shouldn't even have to. You don't even need a bathroom Not break with be three, four battles. You don't yeah. need. There's nah, no smoke like, break needed. You know what I mean? You can run through four. Four? <laughs> four? Like four? What? We, like, we, we do 12. We do 11. We do 11. Yeah. Like, you can do four. You ain't even got to leave the crib to do four. You can, you can eat your bread, eat your food, watch two battles, burn one down, and finish the last two mm -hmm. and you out of there. You order your food right when the, the middle of the second round. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. you straight to the back. Left yep. hand, too. You ain't, mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, that's an easy day. Mm -hmm. Um, So, yeah, I do have First Lady Flames. Mm -hmm. Moving on, Shayna Ashley versus Rosenberg Raw. Mm. Uh, Rosenberg Raw is coming off a battle with Mike P this weekend. Did you see it? I know you did. You know I did. You know I did. I ain't gonna hold you, man. Like, the more and more that I watch this battle, I see why a lot of people are, 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 are convinced or are trying to convince me to say that Rosenberg Raw won. But, I mean, because that third is that third is pretty dope. Other than the fact that the material itself was, you know, over, you know, it's an overused angle, but at the same time, it's different when Raw say it though. You know what I'm saying? He still had those punches. He, you don't know who to fight. I'm still remembering those type of lines from it. So Rosenberg Raw to had that performance, and then that to mention, this was literally last week, and he has that strip of schedule to battle again in the very next week, and then the week before that, he was just sitting next to us talking about the wars that he was going through. Come on, man, do you sleep? Do you eat? What are you doing right now? Right. Only thing I got to tell you right now is that Chayna Ashley been chilling. Mm -hmm. Why you say she been chilling? Well, obviously she had a bye week the last battle. You know what I'm saying? It was right. a bye week. You know what I'm saying? She basically she just was kicking her. She had the sensei cipher, and then she just kicked three more rounds on, on Chrome 23. Got her check and ran up out of there. She ran under. She ran out of that battle uncontested, unscathed, if mm -hmm. you will. But Chayna. That, that, that ain't about to happen in this type of battle. See, this is Rosenberg Raw, as I said before. It's different when Rosenberg Raw says it. It's different when Rosenberg Raw does it. For Chayna Ashley, I think she gonna have to get a little bit more gutter for me. I'm just saying, I like the way she talk, but them punches is gonna have to get a little bit more gutter for me. I think I'm gonna have to side with the fellas on this one. I got Rosenberg Raw 2-1. You, uh, you know, here's my thing. I like what Shayna Ashley's able to do. But you really can't get nothing off of your coworker not showing up to work. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Like I, I got nothing from that. You know what I mean? Even with the material that she did spit, I didn't really like reson. It didn't resonate with me because I'm listening to the fact that somebody didn't show up with any material. Right. So your your senses. If you're watching a battle and something like this happens. Mm. Your, the part of your mind that's like, yo, let me grab bars, let me try to analyze, let me get the analytics and the data so I can see who won and I'm really like focused on it. Mm. Once you see somebody ain't gonna rap, you just lose focus and it's just playing, it's just white noise at the end, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, yeah. I go to sleep to a thunder sound compilation. <laughs> like, I, that becomes my thunder sound compilation. Yeah, I'm out of here. I can literally fall asleep to it, it's not a fault. I'm here, you but, say round. Over and uh, over. <laughs> Rosenberg Raw came off of a pretty decent battle with Mike P. He doesn't lose anything from it, even if they feel like he won or lost. It was what I said, and I quote, and I say it again mm -hmm. on this run, that I feel like right now it could easily be a top 20 battle of the year. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, easily. I'm talking about 14, yeah. 13 type shit. Like, yeah. I know 19, 20. Could easily be one. Mm -hmm. From the promotion to the way it was set up to Mike P uh, notoriously leaving URL, and this is the first card he was on, all the pressure to have to show up because if he loses this battle, he is getting smoked, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And for Rosenberg Raw, just battling the week before, knowing he got a battle the next week, and he did comments, it was a lot of things riding because I'm gonna be honest with you, when I spoke to different people about the uh, Chrome situation, they was nervous, like, yo, if he go up there and get smoked, <laughs> he fucking up the bread at the yeah. crib, like, yeah. like, yo, he's a man, he's, he's a big battle on this card, but he did his thing, uh, Mike P did his thing too, and now he comes to his battle with Shane Ashley. Uh, I think Rosenberg's Raw's best advantage is his best advantage. Just his flow in general. Like, his flow is a cheat code. He can keep going, keep spitting mm -hmm. round, line after line after line after line. Um, Shane Ashley, Gritty Flow, Dot Mom member, you know, she's always been nice for years. You know what I mean? Like, she, she, she's not going to take her foot off the gas in this one. Mm. I do feel like this is a 1-1 one, one going into the third, and Rosenberg Raw gets the slight advantage of me because of where the locality is at. It's mm. literally like 17, 18 minutes from Southwest. Like, this is like... 
Yeah. This is a flip, and you know the good thing about having been out there for the last two years, I know like all these areas. Mm -hmm. me, 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 me. I, I can, I know exactly right where to cross that wall with me. That's it. Mm -hmm. Straight over, boom, bust the left, you out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I already mm -hmm. know which way to go to get there. So um, what I will say is this. Very good battle though. She could get busy. She does have advantages in this battle too. Her advantage is the fact that she hasn't battled recently. And Rosenberg Raw took Charlie Clips. He took a battle last week. He's battling now. Like mm -hmm. this is a lot more than I know him to do. Do I have confidence in him doing it? Of course. But yeah. he's doing that. He had the battle. He had the podcast. He's doing blogs. He did the commentary. I like he got it. A, he got a lot. All four. All four eyes on the stove are on. Mm -hmm. But uh, for sure, <laughs> everything is yeah. on. And the air fryer. Mm -hmm. And the oven. Mm -hmm. Like he's got every burner on the stove. And something's in the microwave. Beat, yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's got something <laughs> everywhere cooking right now. But. What I will say is that uh, from what I know him to be, I know he's focused and you know what I'm saying, he should be ready to uh, to, to, to get busy where, you know what I mean, because uh, he does have an, uh, a good ability to understand the game, understand how the game works, you know what I'm saying, he did things like holla at us to get us involved with, you know what I'm saying, commentary, we always been nice, you know what I'm saying, niggas might try to act like we was obli like oblivious to us, like we ain't exist, but whatever, right. what Lux said, like it was a myth, like you know what I'm saying, like I was a myth, <laughs> right. like I didn't exist, like we wasn't born to fucking do commentary, you never know asked, it wasn't like, didn't ask, it, it was a myth, <laughs> I think that was Lux, was it Lux, I was a myth, mm. I didn't exist, whatever, you know what the fuck I mean, um, so, they're gonna, they're gonna say it right in the comments, yeah, so, um, to have that opportunity is dope and you know Shane Ashley she gets busy you know what I'm saying and mm -hmm. Rosenberg Raw like I said he has his ears to the streets he's in tune with the game he knows what the people wants and I think that he's not gonna want to come out and disappoint on his chrome debut too he ain't never battled there yeah and one thing I will say about Remy huh well, look if you're cooking they booking mm -hmm. and if you're wrong you're gone, you're gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Mother, also, <laughs> she get the motherfucker out here quick also to Rosenberg's advantage as well he ain't never battled a lady before. Mm -hmm. So, like, all of the things that he could have ever said, he can now say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can release that, you know, that energy. Now, I believe, Ch I don't think Chana has battled a... Uh, uh, like a, a walk-down. Yeah, I think she did a walk-down, but I mean, like, you yeah, know... a real one. Yeah, like, we talk about the actual in the ring, like, right. you know, in the pit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. we'll break that down way more you know on Saturday. Yeah. What's going down? On the live pay-per-view stream, you know what I'm saying? Like, we'll have a lot of analysis, expert breakdown. Mm -hmm. You know, this guy will be on hand doing yeah. the things that he do. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of that commentary and conversation should be saved. What you wear? This is our final predict. What you wear? Hey, you gotta let me know already, bro. I need to be prepared already. You, I'm your brother. You gotta let me know. <laughs> no, nah, we're not doing that crazy. <sighs> <bro>. All right. <laughs> So we don't say those words on here no more, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys, they don't want to hear that no more. They don't want to hear the two move. words? No, okay. they don't want to hear it. And okay. we don't say, we see how we went through this whole joint without saying it, we not. He's going to wear, not, he's gonna wear a velvet t-shirt. I will gonna not. a velvet t-shirt. That's going to be next. I will not. I will not <laughs> but you know, that that flamboyance has got us swear. Hey, 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 they keep calling, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You keep cooking. Them. Man, they I'm keep just, cooking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, uh. I got it. something special, but it's nothing too crazy. It's mm. just, bro, we regular this time. Yeah. Um, Charlie Clips versus A Ward. Mm. All right, I'll take this first. Um, here's the deal A Ward's coming off of his most critical, impactful performance of his career yes. because he was definitely backed into the corner. And this battle is so crazy that when you think about it, it's kind of like 50 50. Because you're going to have Verb's side that's going to feel like he won, and Verb feels like he won for the reasons that I've aforementioned. Mm -hmm. Ward has a good contingent of people, especially high-level bloggers, media, people that have been doing this for a while, that really are giving him two rounds out of this battle. The first and the third. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I think with everything that Verb spit in his first round, Glock 40 to you, yeah. Yeah. Trump's that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's just too much. Um, Verb was phenomenal in this battle, though. He could literally be given a win, and I have no issue with it. But that goes to say this, right? Mm. It leads to Charlie Clips. Charlie Clips has been notorious for being notorious. <laughs> and when I say that, he's been known for doing bad. Like, he's been doing bad, bad, like, at times. With his career, he'll freestyle, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll not take the battle seriously. Like, and then every time we talk about Clips in the past, like, three years or so, mm. they always say this. What version are we gonna get? That's true. You know what I'm saying? They're they gonna ask so, it. Eclipse um, is serious. Is he serious? Mm -hmm. Is he gonna freestyle? Is mm -hmm. he gonna do this? 
They had to get to the point where ARP had to say before he battled Rosenberg Raw. Not freestyle. freestyle. Like no freestyle. <laughs> you shouldn't be told that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why do you have to be told that you what you do as a strong point you cannot do because you do it too much to the point where he's losing. And he's got such a huge fan base that even if he does it, loses, doesn't matter, they're gonna um go for him again. Try to figure. Ward um <laughs> Ward came off of a crazy, impactful performance. He had big highlight moments. Mm. All of his rounds were structured well. Mm -hmm. uh, he was he he was right on par with his Vixen performance. You know what I mean? Uh, he's had big moments on Chrome. He's won at a high level, and he's won a lot of great battles. And to be honest, the smoke that Verb had for him, Charlie Clips don't have none of that. So it's just gonna be about rapping. It's just gonna be out about who's better. And if you need a preview, they're already battling in the one round. And I feel mm -hmm. like Ward walked in that battle. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, Charlie Clips had some moments. Mm -hmm. He did his thing. Mm -hmm. But if he comes like that, like Horseman Bars and this, that, and the third, like, it, it, I don't know how that's going to work. But yep. I, got a, I got Ward 2-1. Okay. You ever got hit in the face? Like, uh, like caught? Like, just like, like you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it happens, right? I mean, in life, yeah. Right. Probably. How, how, how vengeful are you after that pop? Shit gets up. You, you, you about to kill, yeah, like, I'm, I'm gonna come in to kill you, right? So this is what happened in that one round. In that one round battle, Charlie Clips was playing around with him, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what? Pop. Oh, my bad. Oh, okay. Let me, let me, I'm going to kill you now. So that's, that's one thing, right? I'm, I'm gonna just point that out. You know, I wanna, I just wanna say that, right? Is this uh, Charlie Clips' debut on Chrome 23? Okay, typically when Charlie Clips does debuts on leagues or anywhere else, he's usually trying to secure the bag so he ain't about to sit there and play with you, right? Now, do I sound like a Charlie Clips fan? You got damn right, because I am calling him my goat. Now, final point that I just want to just point out there, and then I'm going I'm to I'm go a little further in, uh, into why I think so-and-so is going to win. Um, what is the biggest battle that A Ward had? We just explained. You just said that A Ward had. Uh, A Ward. Oh man, it's crazy, right? That was his biggest battle, right? Um, do you recall A Verb versus uh, Charlie Clips? Yeah, Clips played him. Oh, thirty ball, right? Yeah, yeah. So that means your toughest opponent was only a toothpick flick. Of mine, you get what I'm saying? I mean, prepare <laughs> to go prepare with the hey, go. That hey, might be 10 hey, years ago. Let me, I mean, let, like, let, come hey, on, hey, dog. Hey, am right. I building this case? Let me build this case now. I got the paperwork on so the table now. This right? is a bad angle. Now, <laughs> 10 years ago, when this is the hey, it don't matter. It could be 10 years what ago. What were you doing 10 years ago? Well, um, exactly. I was working at I was working at Lowe's. I remember I was working at Lowe's. Yeah, I, at that time, time ago. I, was, oh, I can't oh, put too much stock in that. What's up? Now, only thing I'm also saying is too is that this battle, to me, is just going to be fun. It definitely is a 50-50 battle. I agree with you on that because I feel like this battle is going to be considered fun. There's not going to be a lot of bloodshed. It's not going to be the same grudge-type feel that we just got from Awar. For God's sakes, he just got in a fight with... Uh, Awar got in a fight with a white boy and lost. Mm -hmm. He got in a fight with another white boy and he lost. And Charlie Clips... He gonna let you know, hey, you lost. Like, let's not, <laughs> you, you might have got that a bird fight, but let's not forget about these other law. Charlie Clips can harp on that. It's a couple other things that Charlie Clips can do as far as rebuttals. Who is the rebuttal god? That's what basically what this battle is going to technically be. It's going to be the battle of the second round. To me, it's going to be the battle of the second round. I'm going to keep it real. You got a war 2-1. Charlie Clips is still my goat, man. I don't care how lazy he gets, man. I still got Charlie Clips 2-1. It was the man fight. that said, I don't care how lazy he gets. All right, well, yeah, you're going to lose that one, so we know you're paying. Yep. Um, it's the usual. It's just the usual. It is the usual. Mm -hmm. uh, last but not least, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we were flying through this. Uh, we were flying through this. They my four battles. We were flying through this. Um, last but not least, mm -hmm. get your Gotti versus Easy to Block Captain. All the talking will be ceased. All of the, all of everything they got, all the smoke. And if all the issues will be laid on the table. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a super main event. There's going to be a lot of people watching. What's up? I think I said this once. I think I said this twice. I think I said this since the Calico battle. I am not, nor will I, go against Easy the Block Captain. Ever. Again. I, I, I just can't. Anytime that I say that Easy the Block Captain will lose he ain't lost and especially in the battles where i said he was gonna lose he didn't lose so i'm gonna put it to you like this 
there needs to be somebody that has to shut easy the block captain up, right? Obviously, his mm -hmm. head's getting bigger. He, he his ego's getting large. His 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 name and his and his, he's he's already reached the top tier level already, and he's and, and he's only in his maybe fourth fifth year, right? With all that being said, Geechee God is gonna try to swing as hard as he can. He's gonna try to knock him out, but I don't think that Geechee Gotti has enough firepower to take out Easy the Block Captain because of the last battle that we saw with Coffee and, and take, you know, if it was a personal battle, if I gotta go by that last battle, I don't think Geechee got a lot to go with. Yes, Geechee's gonna say what ain't been said or he's gonna air out what ain't been aired out, but Geechee, I need you to get back to them bars, my guy. I need you to get back to them angles actually angling with the punch. Right. But with that being said, I got Easy the Block Captain 2-1. Uh, I think this is a very important battle for Easy the Block Captain because first and foremost, this is his first big, big stage performance back. Yeah, he battled this, but to be honest, who the fuck cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody remembers anything from that battle. And it's one of them things where, you know, you won, but it's just that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you just won. Battle has no replay value. Yeah. If I watch it, I would not go watch it on YouTube. I'm sure it's doing it, whatever views it's doing because mm -hmm. the name's involved. But at the same time, when you look at what's consumable for battle rap fans and like you know retainable information that we're gonna watch over and over again this is not one of them no. like that's just what it is um you know i know easy the black cap is vying for position where everyone's posed for their year you know what i'm saying to try to win and get and get the victories but at the end of the day the the, the quantity and quality of who you're battling does matter you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. um at the end of the day he battled Reed Dollars. That's not a battle that I felt like he was going to lose. He's battling a disaster. That's not a battle that I felt like he was going to lose. Uh -huh. He's battling Easy Guy. This is a battle that he can lose. He you can. know what I'm saying? Like, he can. So that's the thing. You know what I mean? I get it. Reed is a legend. And I know if I jumped on the phone with Easy, he'll give me a hundred reasons that I can talk to him for an hour about why Reed is a viable opponent. And I would just say, dude, he just lost to MP. Like, I would I would end all of it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on. Like, we're not doing that. So, you yeah, so. At the end of the day, and that's no knock on OMP. Shout out to OMP. That's my man from the Bronx, you know. Right. But I'm just saying, he ain't battling in a month of Sundays either. So if a nigga can get up, come off his couch <laughs> and come battle you who battled two, three weeks ago, it's like, oh, damn. Um, you know, I like what Reed is able to do. Uh -huh. But at this point in his career, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, that ain't a viable opponent. Geechee Gotti, uh, on the other hand, he's had crazy performances versus brand new guys. Like, well, I battle and all this other shit, battling the nigga in the street in Philly. Uh, in front of the uh, news, up, yeah. he's battling all of them, and he's doing crazy. And he go then when he gets on stage, it was just you know straight. Even all right, so even if this is considered a a, a grudge match or a personal match with, between Easy and and Geechee, right? Mm -hmm. What exactly? It's not what exactly does Geechee say? Because we know what can be said. I don't think that there's anything that can be revealed. Um, that we don't know about, or, or at least we've already heard about, you know right. what I'm saying? But for me, Geechee's personals are just that. Like, typically when, when Geechee's, uh, if, if it's a grudge match, the, all right, my, my issue with the, with the coffee battle, he was doing a lot of what I would do to you. I feel like I want to do this, and you are dirty, you're ugly, you're like, like, like that right. type of stuff. Mm -hmm. He can't do that to Easy because of the fact that Easy is also a grown man. He, you're not about to call another man ugly because, like Rosenberg Ross said, that means you means you couple, you think a couple niggas is cute. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like a situation where Geechee can't say you ain't tough. You're not from Philly. Calico pulled that role. Like it's a lot of things that can't be pulled on Geechee's side. Geechee has a tough act to follow, especially because of his last performances. Now. Has Geechee been holding back on these past few battles mm -hmm. and literally just been waiting to, to, to unleash all of this fire on Easy the Block Captain? I would hope so, because right. that can only lead to a classic battle. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, man. Maybe it's a little bit of the Philly bias in me. Maybe. Just it a little bit. Is. I think, I think I, it is. I guess. I think it is. Um, here's the deal. Uh, Geechee guys coming into this battle with... Like I said, a couple of smaller league fire performances. Uh, he has the ability to put together very, very, very classic material. He had a dope two on two with Tay Rock. I did feel like the Guns and Butter, whatever. They, what's the other nigga's name? Twerk. 
Twerk. Gun Orthodox. Fourth quarter. Twerk quarter. Wait, no, fourth quarter no, docs. Yeah, unquartered. Quarter, yeah, unquartered. Them niggas. The uncourt, gun Orthodox. Gun, the gun Orthodox. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the blood of B's and C's. Yeah. Them niggas went crazy against yeah, them. Yeah, he did good. Um, but Geechee, the, the one disadvantage that I have, the reason why I have Easy to Black Cat to win this battle, Geechee's got so many battles coming up. He just battled Coffee. He's going to be on Blackout. He'll probably be on URL's homecoming. Like, that's just way too much going on at one time. You know mm. what I mean? And I understand that, you know, some people could get their bars, learn them quick and shit like that. But when somebody's taking, and I know Easy just battled Diz two weeks ago, but he knew about this battle here a while ago. And the, battle, the rounds for Diz was like a minute 30. Yeah, he rapped a little longer than that, but it's not hard to beat him. You know what I'm no. saying? Like, it's not. It's not. I mean, what I'm saying is. Respectfully. Respectfully, it's not difficult mm -hmm. to beat him on platforms that's catered to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, let's just do it like that. Now, if you go somewhere else, yeah. you might have a tougher time. It might time. work, but, but over here. If you're going to hear the clip mm -hmm. longer than the line to go back in school, like, you're going to, you know, he's going to be tougher than, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be tough to win. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just keeping it the butt, to be honest. Um, the, 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 Easy's advantage is having home field advantage. It's like, dog, he's 20 minutes away from Philadelphia. Yeah. Peep this. Y'all drove When it. Easy battled Hitman in New York, mm -hmm. it was like 50, 60% of Philadelphia people in there. Yeah. Like, it was a large. It's a drive. It's not even fun. It was a, it's an hour and a half. It's a large contingent of people that was Philadelphia there. Yeah. What the hell do you think they're going to do when all they got to do is cross the width? <laughs> all they got to do. I'm. I'm if all they gotta do is cross the wall with me to get there, and if you know the Philly like I know the Philly, and I know you know the Philly better than I know Philly, and guess what? I know Philly. And it ain't fun. They are going to be there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Because uh, the tickets are selling. The venue is gonna be dope. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a uh, ruin your day. Is gonna be on the on the ones and twos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Avocado like, ain't slept in like ain't slept in, in four like two, years. Yeah, at least four years. Bro. Um, <laughs> you, know, you got myself. You got Showtime SP. I'm pretty excited to have dialogue with uh, you know Farrah and Shuni, things like that. You know what I'm saying? It should be a pretty dope thing. You know what I mean? Like we're we're bringing back, we're restoring the feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like we're we're, we're bringing this together as a community effort hmm. to talk our shit on yeah, the big man. stage, yes, on the sir. big screen. You know what I'm saying? And uh. We're glad that we got to be, you know, a part of this, like we were a part of Max Out, and mm -hmm. you know, hopefully some other opportunities to continue to create themselves for us. Yeah, man. So we can talk shit on a high level. You know what I'm saying? I mean? so. so in the meantime, between time, y'all make sure y'all check in and tune in on Saturday. You know what I mean? Chrome 23, I do what I want. When they ask you, why they on that? Do what I want. This is what I want, you know. Shit like making a movie, man. This nigga ain't from Philly anyway, nigga. We both having no way game. I'm not signing no NDA. I'm saying what the fuck I want to say because I'm Big Geech. You know what the fuck it is, man. Hey, what's up? How school was today? It was good. Oh, okay, was everything uh, Your first day, you know, it went well? Yeah, it was cold. Cold? Yeah. Been cold. Like Froze, like that rapper you be talking to? Oh yeah, Froze, that's my guy, man. You, yeah. you saw the show, it was a good show, right? Yeah, it was good, but he ain't have leather pants on, though. Really? Yeah. <sighs> anyway, what, what you mean? What, what's wrong with him? Why did you even have those leather pants on to begin with? I do what I want. Yo. Soon up, we got the call. We out of here.